talk to you all about NSHSS, which stands for the National Society of High School Scholars. So I officially became a member of NSHSS back in 2016. And when they first, they first emailed, no, they sent me a letter in the mail. And then I went through the process and I had to pay a one-time fee of $75. Before I get into everything, I just want to just show you all how, what the letter will consist of and like what you'll get basically when they send you the little box in the mail. Okay. So you'll have this little box, of course, and in it, you'll have a certificate, a press release, and an actual letter consisting, an actual letter just like this one. Let me try to tie that up. A letter like this one. And it'll show you, it'll tell you what your membership ID number, It'll tell you your membership ID number and things like that. And also you'll have this little membership card and then you'll also be given two little things that you put on your ring, like that you put on your key ring and it'll also have your um, ID at the back of that. You'll also receive a free t-shirt like this one um, or maybe they like switched it up since it's been how many years? Four years. So maybe they've changed it, but this is the one that I got. Okay, so the National Society of High School Scholars, the National Society of High School Scholars, they offer um, scholarships slash grants to high school students, college students, and NSHSS ambassadors, um, or the student council members, or um, the NSHSS officer, chapter officers. So if you have a NSHSS chapter at your school, you'll there is also um, there are also scholarships dedicated to um, you as an officer. Okay, so first off. In order to become a member, you have to at least qualify for one of eight of the qualifications. And so one of the qualifications, which is how I got into it, was you had to have a cumulative GPA, cumulative GPA, um, a 3.5 cumulative, cumulative GPA, and if I'm not mistaken, I think your teachers can also recommend, um, recommend that you be a part of the organization because there are a lot of other students back in high school. Um, there are other students who also got offered the same thing. And I think one of our teachers recommended um, some of us or something like that. But a lot of students are getting them in the mail. My sister even got one. She's still in high school, too. So the scholarships range from $250 to $5,000 and sometimes, well, majority of the scholarships, um, they're either, they either offer the, um, the scholarships to two, nine, three, 10, five, or even 30, um, students per scholarship. So you'll have, 
um, a lot of chances. And some of the scholarships, you had to have a GPA of a 3.0 or higher or a 3.5 GPA or higher. Um, there is also this one scholarship called the NSHSS STEAM scholarships. Is for our STEAM scholarship is for high school students, and yes, it's STEAM, not STEM. So if you're if you plan on majoring in science, technology, engineering, arts, or mathematics, then you could apply for that scholarship. So just recently. I applied for the NSHSS Student Member Council. Student Council Member. <laughs> and so um, that's one of that's one of the leadership programs that the NSHSS offers. There's also an ambassador program and a fellows program. So the student council program is for college students only, while the ambassador program is for high school students and the fellows program is for alumni. You can go, I'll link the website down below and you can go and get all the information you need from the website. Also, um, as an NS NSHSS member, like there are um, events that you can attend and I know one, I think this time it's in my, there's one in Miami. And then there was one in Atlanta. Before I end this video, I also just felt that um, I should share like two books with you all. Like whether you are in high school or even if you're in college, but mainly for high schoolers. Um, and even if you like for the college students, maybe you have siblings that are still in high school or cousins or anything like that. So these two books right here. Okay, so the first one is called Ahead of the Curve. It's what parents need to know to get their kids into college. Now this book was given to me by a great friend of my dad's and I actually met the woman who wrote this book and she's really, really sweet and really nice. And so I did read this book. I read all of it. And I really wish I would have got this book when I was a freshman. So I would have had a lot more time. So that's why I'm telling, to, telling you this now. Whether you're in elementary school, you know, or you're just in middle school, you can come back and watch this video over again just to get some help that you need. And remember this book ahead of the curve. Um, it tells you what you need. It helps you, um, it gives you information on like test taking, like the ACT or the SAT, and it tells you the steps that you need to take um, as a freshman and so forth. Okay, so the chapters in this book, there are... There are seven chapters in this book, and it all begins, chapter one begins um, with ninth grade, and then it goes all the way to senior year, and then it goes on to the path to college, and it includes fi financial fundamentals, and um, like summer, like in the summertime, it talks about how you should volunteer, and like study abroad programs, and things like that. So this book is really, really, really helpful, if you can see Yeah. Okay. So the next book is, I actually found out about this book from reading this book. So this one is the C Student's Guide to Scholarships. C Student, no problem. You can go to college too. So even if you don't make all A, so you make A, B or A, B, C, there's a chance that you can still qualify for scholarships. Isn't that great? That is just <laughs> great. So um, I was a straight A student. But I, um, I wanted to get this book because I'm pretty sure there is some information in here that I could use. And also, I'm glad I got it because I can help people. So, uh, let's see. There are eight chapters in this book. And so, 
basically this one starts off um there's an introduction and then um so basically it goes through like you start planning for scholarships and then chapter two is like you know okay show me the money um where you should hunt for scholarships where not to look for scholarships what kind of scholarships should you apply for then you have the application do's and don'ts um you have how do you how you gonna write your essay um before you write write or um while you're writing and it also has um two sample winning essays in this book um next we talk about recommendation letters and the scholarship express package and so that this chapter which is chapter six it tells about how what's her name felicia how she um had this binder she it all began with a binder and how she like put all of her scholarships applications in that one binder next is how to become an interview rock star and then chapter eight is what now talks about getting more scholarships more free free money for college and um 10 tips for 10 tips for stretching your college dollars so um this book is it was really great i don't know if i read all of it i don't think i did but um i may um do that so that's it for this video i just want to say thank you all for taking your time to watch this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel also if you would like for me to talk about um like my how i went about applying for colleges and how i went about um submitting uh scholarship applications i could also make a video about that it probably won't be very long and also i just want to say thank you to the national society of high school scholars for accepting me as a student council member and i can also make a video about that of like what do you have to do as a what are the like requirements and the duties of a student council member and i'm pretty sure you can find information about that on the website as well but if you would just like for me to do a video about that i can um i also decided to apply for a student council member and there are like many student council members if i'm not mistaken there are over 600 student council members and i decided to apply for it because it's going to challenge me and it gives me something else to do and it's another thing that I could possibly put on my resume. <laughs> and so have a great day and yeah.